adventure mode in Minecraft. This is a game mode designed for maps and minigames. You can't break blocks, you can't place blocks, you can't even use a water bucket. Can you defeat the Ender Dragon and beat Minecraft? Well on a set seed, yes, yes you can and it's, it's actually pretty easy. But what about on a random seed? Can it be done? Well today, that's what we're going to find out. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. The main thing I need is a village. If I don't find a village, I don't stand a chance. At first glance, it's not looking very good, but I can get food by repeatedly punching animals. Mission to find a village was unsuccessful, so we're moving on to plan B. Find a shipwreck, and I think there's one down there. Indeed there is. Let's see what we've got. It looks like we're going to get some iron and stuff like that, which is handy. Lots of emeralds too. They're going to come in so handy. I don't think I need the lapis, but we'll take it anyway. The, the main thing there is emeralds, because I'm going to have to do a lot of trading. Here's something I'm not sure about. If you right-click a berry bush, oh, you do get the berries. That's actually very, very useful indeed. So far, no sign of a village, and I'm not in the greatest of biomes to be able to see one. I just found an open mob spawner. What the heck? <laughs> okay, this is actually probably not going to spawn because it's too light for them. I, got, I was wrong, uh, the guy right there. Let's let's grab, we want to grab everything out of this chest, I think, because it's all pretty helpful things. Apart from the seeds, I don't need those. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty cool mob spawner to find. If I don't find a village before nighttime, then I'm going to be in quite a bit of trouble. And it is now starting to get dark. This is bad. Whilst it's nighttime, I might as well get some wood from a creeper. There we go. Perfect. Oh, a village. Perfect. Just around this corner. There is a village. That is really good news. Let me get rid of this dirt. I'm sorry, good sir, but I need this bed more than you. You may not rest. There are monsters near. Are you kidding me? This is not good news at all. I need to find one without a creeper stand up stood outside. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm in bed. Um, excuse me, Iron Golem. We, we, we seem to have a bit of an issue over here. <laughs> you guys are so screwed now. There's also quite a few creepers. Look at that. Four creepers. Let's use these creepers to get some wood. There we go. Sorry about the person, whoever's house this was. This place was crawling with creepers at night and I've just remembered I should use them to blow up some hay bales. That way I can either use the wheat for bread or trade it for emeralds. I can also steal crops by jumping on them. If we do that, as you can see, it seems like then we have got some carrots here if we need them. And guys, we've got lucky. This has a Fletcher in it. So we can hopefully, we can get some arrows with enough emeralds we could also get a bow. I've decided just to take a stack of arrows. I can get a bow later from... I'll, I'll find a way to get some string and stuff like that. The only issue with this village is that the farmer won't accept wheat as a trade and he won't offer me any bread. Neither will the, uh, the other one over there. And there's no crafting table, so I, that's a bit of a problem. I am going to take out this golem though, just to get the iron. And trust me, taking out this guy is going to take a long time with my fist. Although look at me go with these crits. He's slowly getting damaged. And there you go. An iron golem defeated with my fist. Have you ever seen that happen before? Once again, it is getting dark, and I'm far away from that village, so I'm going to hit the ocean. Will we get some food from here? We'll get a bit of armor, that's handy, and quite a lot of food. This is good, good stuff. Another shipwreck here, this one's kind of upside down. With lots of good treasure in again, I still don't know what I'm going to do with it all, but it's handy to have. I tell you what, this is what Minecraft's all about. Swimming at speed, a dolphin by your side, this is how to explore properly. Still no sign of the desert I'm looking for. I have found a jungle. Sometimes you get deserts right by jungles. I don't know where this has come from, but it's some random string. Is it a mine shaft below me? It looks like it is. This could be, I have to be careful here, but this could be something handy to find. There is a creep here. I'm trying to think what I need from him to blow up. I guess I do need string at some point. So if we get him to blow up the cobwebs, that could come in handy. Also coal. So we can maybe try and blow up both of those at the same time. Let's see what we got out of that. I don't even think we got any string. We did get cobble. We got a lot of random stuff that we don't need. But I have got a chest with another gapple. <laughs> Bread, torches. I don't think the rails are going to be any use. So I'll try and get a music disc. If I can get this skeleton to shoot the creeper, I can get a music disc in adventure mode. Yes, look at that. I got a music disc. Now the question on everyone's mind, can I get it without being defeated by the skeleton? Of course I can. Get out of here. Oh, come on, come on, SP. We did it. Right, let's, we just got to not die now. Do I eat a gapple? Yes, we do. There's no point risking anything. <laughs> there we go. I got a music. I don't know why I'm doing these things, but it's it's kind of fun. And on that note, I'm getting out of this cave. It seems that this ocean is coming to an end, but thankfully, it comes into a plains biome. And I see a village up there. Perfect. Thinking about taking on these spiders to get some string. It's a very risky and stupid idea, but, you know, that's what I'm all about. Risky and stupid ideas. One creeper. Get him. Ha <laughs> ha. We got them all. We got the string we needed. Perfect. And we got a bit of chicken out of that too. This looks promising. Sorry, fella, you, you, you're too small to... Oh, no, I can't. You know, you go back to... Wait, a crafting table! This is perfect. I can craft some armor. Turn this bamboo into sticks. Make an axe. And now, 
The tables have turned. Where you are? That's it. Get him, Gollum. Wait, is that a ruin portal? That's pretty... Well, I can't really use... Could I? Could I use a creeper to blow that up? That's an idea. All of a sudden, spiders don't stand a chance. You're probably going to say I'm crazy for trying this, but that's not going to stop me. Not entirely sure how this next bit's going to work. Maybe if they blow up about here? Did... did no. Yeah, this... <laughs> Back to the drawing board. I want to see something cool, guys. I haven't got a furnace, but I have got campfires, so I can use these to cook my food. I never knew this. Apparently, you can cook potatoes on a campfire. That's handy. This guy's selling an iron axe for three emeralds. I might as well buy it. And this guy's accepting wheat for emeralds. I'm also going to buy a few pieces of bread off him. And for those of you that think that I just always find good seeds, I'm currently 4,400 blocks from where I started. So <laughs> if you think this is a good seed, you think anything's a good seed. I have to say, taking out this golem is a little bit quicker than the last one I had to do. I think this village has been quite the success. Now we must move on to the next phase. And that is to go to the nether. Also, if you didn't know this in adventure mode, you can break and replace your boat, no problem. I wonder if this ruined portal will have anything useful. It has a helmet, that's actually very useful. I don't know why I'm taking the obsidian. And a block of gold, that is that is a very, very good one. I am now in a panicking moment because I'm gonna drown if I'm not careful. I haven't found very much lately, but I have found a monument. I don't think there's any use me going in there. I don't stand a chance against the Elder Guardian. The main reason I say that is because I think I would drown if I tried to go through. And I can't place doors or anything like that to keep my breath. Here's something I didn't know about adventure mode. You can't break lily pads. However, if you hit them with a boat, they'll then break and you can place them. I don't really know if there's any purpose that that serves. Other than the fact that now I can just do this. Oh, I messed it up. As I was saying, other than the fact that I can just do this. And I have now found some lava. So let's craft some flint and steel. And now comes the sad part of the run. There is no way to beat Minecraft on adventure mode. Not on a random seed. I've tried. I've tried everything. And I cannot find a way to make another portal. You cannot pick up lava as you can see. You can't pick up water. You can't place water in lava. You can't even light things with flint and steel. So... That all spells a disaster. You can't even place obsidian. So to go to the nether, I'm going to have to switch to survival. There we go. If anybody finds a way to do this in adventure mode, I will give them like, I don't know, $1,000. You know, $5,000 to anybody in the next 30 days that finds a way to go to the nether on a random seed in adventure mode. Because it is not possible. There you have it. The portal is made. It is now lit. We'll switch back to adventure mode, see how far we can get. I'm also well over like eight to 9,000 blocks from spawn. <laughs> we could go anywhere in the nether. And here it is. It is a shame that you can't get all the way. We're going to start by doing some trading. I have a lot of good stuff. A lot of, well, I have 15 gold. If this doesn't get me the pearls that I need, I can take out the enderman and there's, there's other things I can do. And we got a grand total of zero pearls. Probably going to make that fella angry, but we need to look. Anything too useful? I guess I'll take those boots because I don't actually have any boots. And those prop four helmet. That's, that's an insane chest. Oh my god. I was close to giving up, guys. I was about to say I've explored and explored. Can't find it. We're not actually a million miles from my portal. And there's a fortress there. Can I get into that fortress? That is the question. It depends how the land looks. I think I can get across. We're going to find out. I can definitely parkour my way up here. And then from here, I can drop in. And I think I should be able to get back up there. Yeah, I, I, I definitely can. We can actually do this. We just need to find the bla- And there's the blaze spawner. We've got a shield. It shouldn't be too much of a challenge. As long as I can get past that lava, I think I can by going around this way. Look at this. Piece of cake. I finally got eight blaze rods. That was a bit of a nightmare. The drop rate seemed to be terrible. Because I couldn't punch the fire to put it out, it made things even harder as well. Now I've got this guy on my tail. I'm already not enjoying the nether. I've just found something really good. Coming out of here, there is a warped forest. I should be able to find a way along there to get to it. That is my ticket to getting ender pearls. I'm going to leave this fortress. I think I've got everything I could ever have hoped for. I'm going to start getting enderman, but I only have one concern with this enderman thing. My axe might break. I've also looked carefully, and I believe I can find a way back from this. I can kind of climb up this, this mountainy area. So let's find some enderman. I'm so glad adventure mode lets you use boats. It makes it so much easier. And I've also found a bastion. Is, is there any use to me going in here? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. My worst fear has just happened. My axe has broken and now I must kill Enderman with just my fist. Guys, that took a long time. I was hoping I could use a bow and arrow to take him out, but as you can see, that just goes straight through him. I am losing the will to live doing this, but at least I'm up to 10 pearls now. I ended up being super safe and getting 18. I'm going to get one more blaze rod so that I can make 18 eyes of Ender because the first stronghold I come to might not be one that I can enter. I'm not sure this is going to work, but here we go. Okay, it did work. <laughs> I didn't think I could make that jump just by jumping, so I thought if I place a boat, it might save me. Now that I have no axe, the only way I can defeat some blaze is by using a boat. And thankfully, that guy dropped a blaze rod. It's on my way home. We've got everything we need. Mission accomplished. I see it down there. 
Can I get to it? <laughs> Why does it have to be lava all around it? I'm gonna have to be very careful when I do this, but I think if I do some... This has got to be very precise. Yeah, if I do some very careful parkour... We're out. <laughs> we're leaving the nether. That was a very stressful experience, and I've just realised I've... I've trapped myself down here. I can't jump out. It's all right. We've got boats. Okay, we don't have to worry. <laughs> Without boats, though, this would be way harder. The sun is going down, and I'm going to make my way back to an ocean before I search for a stronghold, because I, I need to either find a stronghold that's right by a cave or one that's underwater. And I think, since I travelled on so much ocean to get here, that finding one underwater is my best chance. We are now by the ocean. Let's see if the nearest stronghold is this. Hopefully, it's not this way. Which way is it? It's that way. Maybe. It could be underwater. Although, it looks like there's land over there, so I'm, I'm not too hopeful. Pretty sure I'm going to have to travel to another area. If I throw this, yeah, it's it's over spruce. It's no good. Let's throw another eye and see where it takes me. Okay, this is a different stronghold. Let's, let's see what's over here. This is interesting news, guys. I have found the stronghold. I've just seen it. It's right here. I don't know how I'm going to get into it, though, because whilst it is kind of exposed, and if, it was, if this was survival, it would be perfect, I can't break that. I can't use TNT. I can't get a creeper to blow that up either. Uh, maybe there's a cave on this island. I've searched all the caves around the area. There's one just there that I was in. There's another one just down there, but none of them seem to connect up. Well, there is this ravine here. Maybe it leads across. It does lead to a mine shaft. Hold on. <laughs> I wasn't... Oh, hold on. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not as good as I thought it was going to be. I was going to say, if the mine shaft goes that way, connected to the stronghold, <laughs> it would be the most clutch thing ever. But I, I don't think it's going to. This might even be a completely isolated thing. I think it's extremely unlikely that I'm going to find a cave that connects to the stronghold. It's very annoying, but I'm going to have to look for another one. If my memory serves me correctly, I don't think I'm that far from the village that had all the crafting tables in. So I think I'm going to try and find it. Yeah, it's just up here. Perfect. I'm glad I realised that because I was well on my way past it. That's going to save me a lot of trouble. Now I can make an iron axe. Hello, good sir. I'm going to buy a few things from you. Now that I've been thinking about it, I'm starting to wish that I explored the area a little bit more when I found that exposed stronghold bit. I think maybe, because the strongholds are a lot bigger than I, I was thinking, I think maybe I could have found something. Every Minecraft world has 128 strongholds. I'm sure I can find a way into one of them. On my travels, I do see a village over there. And a blacksmith. You know what? We're going for that. We haven't really got anything useful in there. Just obsidian and iron leggings. We've already got those. But this, this is like villager island. It's just an island with a village on it. Let's throw another eye and continue on my travels. This is very bad. It seems that this stronghold is up a mountain. This stronghold is right here at the top of a mountain. I'm not hopeful, but I'm going to try and see if there's a cave. There is a cave here. We'll have a look down it. Although, is it even a cave? No, it's not even a cave. I haven't been able to find any useful caves in the area. I'm going to have to go to another stronghold. I have to say, lily pad jumping in adventure mode. It feels nice to be able to place something for a change. I like the look of this. More ocean. I'm starting to get low on eyes of ender. I really hope that one doesn't break. Thank goodness. I've located it though. It's roughly... About here. Somewhere around here. So I just need to find a cave in the vicinity that hopefully leads down. Is the one over here? Let's see where this leads. It looks like a decent cave, but it's an absolute maze down here. Skeletons coming at me from one side. I feel like going, following this way isn't likely. Oh, okay. Just be careful. Maybe this way we'll be able to connect some. I, I, I need to keep these creeps alive if I can. I need them to break me in. It does connect to a mine shaft. Now, what if the mine shaft... Okay, that's not what I want. What if the mine... Guys, we're in. Just get rid of this guy who's trying to spoil my day. We are now so close to getting to the end. I just have to hope... I don't need anything there, do I? I have to hope that uh, there's no blockages. I, I need to kind of go back to the beginning of the stronghold first. So we can kind of work that out by following the doors. In fact, I think this might be the beginning here. Yeah, perfect. So it's just a case of exploring. I hear lava this way and I hear silverfish. The only issue is... Uh, this, ra this way is blocked off and there's no button. What What are the chances of that? I'm going to have to hope that that wasn't the actual way. Maybe. Oh, wait, this looks really promising. Oh, oh wait, it's a big ravine. So maybe I'm completely mistaken. <laughs> I really hope I don't need to go through that door. I'm going to have to get a creeper to blow it up if that's the case. And that's just it's going to be very annoying. So instead of going down these stairs, we should go that way. And there we go. It worked out perfectly. Now, I'm going to tell you the next big problem with adventure mode, okay? It's it's a bit of a weird one. I don't know why in adventure mode this is a thing. You can't place eyes. You cannot place eyes in the portal. So unless you get a 12 eye seed, there's no way you get through here. So I am going to have to switch to survival mode to be able to put these in, unfortunately. It's, it's just one of those things. And we'll now see what kind of an end we've got. Okay, well, we've got an exposed one. <laughs> we didn't even have to go that far. I did have pearls if I needed them. So now we battle the ender dragon. And thankfully, I have absolutely loads of arrows, so it shouldn't be a problem. Somehow upset an enderman as well. <laughs> thankfully, 
My boats are very powerful. And thank goodness we can shoot these without having to go up. I have to say, these tiny little towers are my favourite kind of ones. The big ones are just annoying. Look at that, we landed that though. Let's hope this one hits perfect. I am actually, I think the amount of times that I've killed the Ender Dragon in videos lately. I'm getting better at hitting these towers, definitely. He says that and then I'll just not be able to hit this one. There we go, got it. I think the final one is up here. And the dragon's perching. I always thought the dragon couldn't perch on this version because we're on 1.16.3. On the last video he wouldn't perch. I can't actually reach him here very well. Oh, he's turned a bit now, that's better. I'm going to get in a boat and reach him that way. I guess it's the only way I can reach him. <laughs> and I'll be completely safe in here. The final tower has now gone. It's just me versus the dragon. And we are very close to almost beating Minecraft in adventure mode. Just for those two things, I've not been able to make a nether portal and not being able to put the eyes of Ender in. Other than that though, we've done everything in adventure mode. I also remembered I've got loads of arrows so we can just keep shooting him. And there we have it guys. Almost beating Minecraft in adventure mode. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and you may enjoy the video on screen now where I beat all three Minecraft bosses with just half a heart.